said, what are you doing here, you little brat? The man was frowning. Who's that dog? And why are you letting him beat Patches? Says he stepped forward to Word to the garage. He seemed to be and ever when he gazed down at Charles and Sammy who were sitting on the concrete floor. Lord. Charles Barron took it. We, uh, uh, he, he did not think of a single thing to say. Hey, we're just playing with him, honestly, Sammy said. That's Buddy. He, he belongs to Charles. Oh, he jerked a thumb at Charles. The man squirted a foot at Charles. Your name's Charles? He yeah, it's doesn't Charles here for Yeah. How does man know his name? Well, probably. I am Charles Pearson, he admitted. The one who wrote the letter that said, Hug your dog? Charles groaned. So that's how he knew. Oh man, was he in trouble now? He looked at his shoes. Yes, I wrote it. Sammy took a step forward. More towards Charles and faced the man. There wasn't a thing wrong with that letter, he said. Everything Charles was through. Yeah. Oh. The man looked at the two of course. What? He said finally. Lee, I want to talk to you, Charles. Why don't you, your friend, and your puppy come up to the porch? Charles would rather have a face to face with the ghost. But what was he to do? Do? He couldn't say no, so he tugged on Buddy's leash and called him over. Hey, I'm having fun. You brought me over here to play. Later, Patches, Sammy said, said untangling the beagle's leech. Rrrr! Don't go! Oh! Rrrr! Patches started howling the minute they were gone. The man let, let Charles and Sammy around the house and up to the court. Porch, just okay, boys. Sit. He disappeared in the house. Charles soon sat down. The only thing sent a strange, frightened glances before the man came back out with three trays of juice. He gave one to the boys and then sat down and took a sip from his own glass. Buddy, he was sitting right in the car. He seemed to understand that this, that this time was no fooling around. After a moment, the man pulled down, put down the glass. You're Charles, then. Uh, what's your name? Oh, it, it's Sammy. Sammy's eyes look a bit clear. Charles and Sammy. I'm Doug Stevens, and I guess you already know my dog, Patches. Yes. Charles can't help himself. He's real cute. They must have tried some did something that really smiled. He smiled. He sure is. The first time I saw him, he was such a little guy. Oh, he was the run of his letter. So was Buddy, said Charles. 
Buddy jumped up and he was like, what? Where are we going? No kidding. This thing can be sure it's healthy now. He had it. He scratched Buddy's chin. Hi there, little guy. Charles couldn't believe it. Mr. Stevens was turning out to be a nice person. Buddy's a lucky puppy, said Mr. Stevens. He sure gets lots of attention from you. Charles wasn't sure to say. I'm lucky too, I mean, lucky to have Buddy. I mean, he hugged Buddy close to his chest. Mr. Stevens didn't say anything for a little while. He just sat there looking at Buddy and he started talking to him. Can I win your letter away? Lay. he began crying. At first, I thought it, it was mad. I thought you were saying I was a bad dog owner. Oh, I didn't mean it, Charles said. But my feelings held up a hand. Truth is, thought of it, I have been a bad dog owner, he sighed. Catches does not. Get all the attention he deserves. My family's just too busy right now. We're all for our separate activities, all dangerous. Nobody here to play. Well, nobody? What about that one guy who sits in the living room? Sammy brought it out. Well, this seems raised an eyebrow. Trump can tell you that like idea of. Sammy, of two kids being noisy, nosy. Not that we're spying or anything, Sammy was blushing. Oh, that man, Mr. Sam said, happens to be my father. He's 89 years old, he's in a wheelchair, and he's totally deaf. So he can't hear if Patches is crying. If we, he could hear, maybe there's... Something we could do about him. Oh, Sammy Bezlin. Sorry. <coughs> That's okay, Mr. Stevenson. I understand. Seeing that you boys only want what's best for Patches, so do I. That's why my life and I decide this is not the right time for a family to have a dog. Your winner made us decide that we should make Patches find a nicer home. 